Welcome back to our Ticket Broker system. In this video we're going to make a class for seat. Uh, an auditorium will have a number of seats and if you've been in a play th or theater and, or an opera then you'll remember that the seats have a number and they'll have they'll be either reserved or not reserved and there will be a ticket associated with them. So let's get started. So we're going to say public class seat and then we're going to make variables for uh, the seat number that'll be an integer and then we'll have another variable for whether it's reserved or not so that'll be a boolean and then we'll have we're going to associate a ticket with it we did this class already in a previous vid video, so we'll create an instance of it in seat. So let's say pri private ticket ticket. And what we could do to loosen um, the restrictions is we could make this protected instead. Protected allows classes to see each other that are in the same program or package. All right, so we need, these are our fields. And we'll need a constructor. And then we have our assessors and mutators. We have our other methods. So our constructor is going to be public seat. And we'll pass in the seat number. when we create the seat. So we'll say this dot number. Remember that this keyword refers to back to the same class. So we can have name our local variable here as the same as our field in the class. And then we'll have set reserve to false because when we open the theater most of the tickets will be unreserved and as we buy tickets then we can reserve the seats so and then we'll say initial ticket is null because no tickets have been associated with the seat okay for assessors we need to be able to get the number Public int get number and we'll return the number. And we'll also be able to set the seat number. So public int public void set number. And then we'll pass in int number. dot number is equal to number and then we'll need to return whether a seat is reserved or not so we'll say public boolean get reserved and we'll return reserved and we need a method to set um, if it is reserved or not so public void set reserved boolean we can say r and then we can say reserved is equal to r I could also make instead of r I could use reserved and then do this dot reserved is equal to reserved but this will show you both ways of doing that Alright, and then we'll need it for ticket. So we'll say public get ticket return ticket and public void 
set ticket 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 this dot ticket equals a ticket and then we're going to need a um, two string method so we'll say public string two string We'll say string result is equal to a blank string if not get reserved then result plus equals number plus a tab. equals an X to show that it's reserved in a tab. And then we close that off and we're going to return result. I'm just going to make this a little more complex by putting this on one line. I mean, sorry. I'm going to make it a little more compact, not complex. I'm going to go ahead and save, um, and then we need, let me save it first. So let's go ahead and save, and let's compile, make sure we don't have any mistakes, and let's see, it says, invalid method declaration, ah, we need a It is a ticket, so we need a capital T I C K E T. This ticket's a class. There we go. And then we need to write the method. Um, we have one method get reserved that is just returning whether it's reserved or not. Um, But we also need to write um, a method to determine if it's reserved. So we're going to say public if we've actually reserved it. Int reserve. And then we're going to say if not get reserved, then we're going to set reserve to true. And result will equal one. We'll return one if it's reserved. Else, set result equal to negative one if it's not reserved, and then we'll return the result. So I'll just go ahead and put this on one line. Make it a little more compact. Since the other one has multiple lines of code, I'll leave that. And then we just need to remember to return results. And we forgot to instantiate an integer for results. We'll say int result. All right, so that's our seat ticket. And in our next video, we're going to use our seat ticket in an auditorium, which will have a 2D array for each of our seats.